essentially what these 3D printers do is they take your 3D model, slice it, and then reassemble it using plastics. So here is an example of a model that was done uh, a layer at a time. The machine throws plastic down one layer at a time. The layers can be between 0.4 and 0.1 millimeters. But it goes through and follows that up until you get the entire piece. Um, there's a variety of things we can do with this. In this particular case, I've got a 3D printer right now that's printing a bolt and a screw. So uh, I've fed it already the dimensions and uh, what the model should look like. It's sliced it through software. And now if we listen, we can hear that motors are going and they're depositing little bits of plastic all the way around. bolt with a nut attached to it. Uh, this is about a 45 minute print. Something like this was almost two hours. So it's not a quick process. Um, it takes a while for the seat, for the mach machine itself. Uh, it's got stepper motors. It's got heated tips that are actually melting the plastic and depositing those into the locations. That process takes a while. So this process actually takes some know-how. It's not as easy as going to Staples and getting that easy button and hitting it and it actually immediately makes a thing. You have to understand the engineering involved with building the piece. Most pieces are not constructed whole. They're conducted in, constructed in pieces. So you have to assemble those pieces. You have to know how to do that and what, um, what agents you actually use to design it that way so it can be a fix. And all in all, it actually takes quite a bit of knowledge in order to use these and design pieces that can be used on the individual printers themselves.